A North Carolina hospital is screening patients for a so-called superbug this morning. Three more cases have turned up there. Officials at Carolina's healthcare system say one person picked up the bacteria inside its facility in Lincoln. Two people picked it up somewhere else. Meanwhile, an 18-year-old hospitalized because of the scare in California has announced plans to sue the maker of the hard-to-clean scopes. Both facilities have taken steps to increase decontamination procedures. Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta has more on the original outbreak and what this bacteria really is. What we now know is between October of last year and January of this year, there were nearly 180 patients who underwent a, a pretty unusual form of procedure, a rare form of procedure, where the, it's called an ERCP, where they put a little scope into the gallbladder and the top of the pancreas, the head of the pancreas. Uh, what they're concerned about is that those scopes may have, in fact, been contaminated, may have been contaminated with something known as CRE, carbapenem-resistant an organism here, in this case a bacteria that is not easily killed by antibiotics. We know that two people have died of this infection. We know seven people have ident been identified as having the infection. Uh, this is obviously a big concern. We also know the scopes, these particular scopes, appear to have been cleaned. The, the proper infection protocols were followed, so it doesn't seem to have been a violation here. What seems to be the situation is that the existing protocols simply did not adequately clean these scopes. Uh, the, the hospital in question, UCLA, is now increasing their, their, their cleansing process for these scopes, but it doesn't change the fact that nearly 180 people may be at risk of having received this infection. For the time being, uh, they're telling these people to go ahead and get tested. They're sending them home testing kits if those tests come back. There may be some options for treatment, but keep in mind, again, we're talking about a bacteria that is very difficult to treat, that is very resistant to most antibiotics. As we get more details in on this story, we'll bring them to you. Back to you for now.